which equation of the line passes through these two points? 1, 3, and 8, 5. Okay, so we're looking for the slope here that'll help us. 1, 3, 8, 5, subtract our y values for the slope. So 5 minus 3 over the difference of our x values. 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1. So that's 5 minus 3 is 2. 8 minus 1 is 7. So our slope is 2 sevenths, and I realize they all have that, so it's not really going to help us. Let's plug in the points into these equations and see if they balance the equation. Plug in 1 and 3. So here, uh, we'll plug it into choice 3. The number 3 is for y, so 3 minus 1. Does that equal 2 sevenths times 1 plus 3? So x plus 3. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 times 2 sevenths is 8 sevenths. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So we get 2, does that equal 4 times 2 sevenths, 8 sevenths? No, it does not, right? So that's not an option there. y plus 5, so 3 plus 5, the, the y point here, I'll use this point, equals 2 sevenths times 1 minus 8. 3 plus 5, that equals 8. 1 minus 8 is negative 7, right? And negative 7 times 2 7, so 7s cancel out, and we get negative 2, and these things are not equal. All right, two more to go. Here, again, we get 3 minus 5 equals 2 7 times 1 minus 8. Okay, what's 3 minus 5? That's, that's negative 2, right? 3 minus 5 equals negative 2. 2 sevenths of 1 minus, minus 8, sorry. Um, 1 minus 8 is negative 7. Negative 7 times 2 sevenths is, is negative 2. Oh, so this one finally works. We get negative 2 on both sides, right? 2 sevenths times 1 minus 8 equals 2 sevenths times uh, negative 7. The sevenths cancel out to a negative. 1, multiply that by 2, we get negative 2. So in both cases, we get negative 2. I would choice, choice, choose choice number 2. All right. 